Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Steve. Different kind of thing. Now we're dealing with liquor. Mm -hmm. Not so, my <laughs> so I made. I'm a big lemon f fan. So I made a long time ago. It was a limoncello. So what you do is you take two pounds. I used organic lemons. Okay. Um, got all the zest off. Okay. Leaving the white behind, so huh. you have it, it, it's a pain. Do you use like a zester or did you use a peeler? I used like, a peeler, okay. Because with the zester, I was oh, like, Well, you've been there forever, yeah. So I used a peeler and I took my time and I got them all off. Did you chop it afterwards or just leave no? It? You, just all peels? you want is the zest, okay. So for the two pounds. And I'll show some videos because I still have them. But you take that and you put it into a one-gallon carboy. Then you're supposed to use like a 190 proof all-grain thing. So Everclear is what we know because we're from Michigan. You're supposed to use that, but you can only get that in Indiana. And the highest proof I could find was 100. Oh, you should have let me know. I've got some white lightning. Oh, well, now you tell me. <laughs> but so what you do is you get a fifth of that. You pour that on top for 30 days. Okay. And you stir it every single day for 30 days. Does it need to be in light or? No, just I dark? just I just put it on the floor. So, okay. but um, obviously there's tons of people making this out there, uh, but. What I've noticed is if you use the 190 proof, it's a lot. Too much alcohol? No, it's neon color. Oh. Where mine, when. Is Mountain Dew. After the, yeah, after the 30 days was up, it was a dark yellow color. Okay. But then what you do is you take four cups of water and dissolve three cups of sugar in it. Okay, sweeten it up a bit. Yep, then you mix them. So if you're using 190 proof, that gets cut in half. Okay, now this will make more sense. <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay with that. Yeah, so really, if you buy one-fifth, by the time you're done, you have two-fifths of oh. limoncello. Okay, at a lower rate, Yeah, at like half of whatever it is. 50. Right, so if this was 100 proof, which is 50%, by the end, it's 25%. So, okay. Okay. Makes sense. So I took one bottle over to a neighbor's when we had a party and they said they liked it better than the real thing in in or in Italy. Wow. So but I've never had that. I haven't so. either. But so obviously it's a it's a neon Mountain, Mountain Dew, Dew <laughs> color. Smell like lemons. <laughs> lemons. Like this lemon zest. That's yeah. all I smell is lemon zest. Bottoms up. All of it. Okay. It's actually really good. Yeah, that's um, that's good. Yeah, <laughs> it tastes like sweet lemon zest. Yep. With a little bit of alcohol, I I, think I couldn't even I, taste the alcohol. That but, was good. Yeah. Wow, I didn't expect that. I was expecting to go, hmm, good, <laughs> you know, Windex, <laughs> you know. I uh, mean, this is easier to make, it, to make the meads. Very true. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, go ahead and try it, or if you have tried it, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe, and until next time, I'm Brad. And I'm Steve. Happy brewing. See you next time.